Installing solar panels can cost anything from fifteen to twenty-seven thousand dollars, but experts say they could save you more than fifteen hundred dollars on your energy bill every year. A Cleveland company, which just received an EPA grant, is looking to make solar energy accessible to lower-income neighborhoods. News 5's Nadine Abusada with the story. These are my children. This is my daughter, Jayla. My in Maple Heights, Danielle is a proud mother of five. How is it, I mean, providing for five kids in this economy? It's a lot. Our gas bill is very high. Our light bill is a bit uh, astronomical at times. To make ends meet, she works two jobs. We don't make enough really to be able to pay these crazy bills, but you have to because you don't make not enough to qualify for the other programs. And tries to save where she can by holding off house projects. Our doorbell never got put back up. And cutting energy use. I never use lights when I'm home by myself. But to help lift that burden, Growth Ops, a Cleveland company, plans to install solar panels. Completely like, free. Right, what? <laughs> Girl, mm. okay. We uh, found a way to stack the tax incentives, the tax credits, and the tax rebates in a way that will cost the low-income household zero dollars for uh, the installation of the solar panels. Michael Jeans is the CEO and founder of Growth Ops, which received a $156 million EPA grant to install solar panels in 31 low-income communities across eight states. The Department of Energy calculates uh, energy burden as 5% of household income going to the cost of utilities. We have homes in our uh, lower income communities that are paying 30 plus percent of their income going toward energy costs. Gene says with this, they will increase energy savings, reduce carbon emissions, and invest in disadvantaged communities like Maple Heights. We've got a 22% poverty rate, and uh, people were losing their home, a huge property tax delinquency, food insecurity, housing insecurity, schools were struggling, uh, just a, a poor performing school report card. So we needed some really good news. Maple Heights Mayor Annette Blackwell tells News 5 this could help more than 30% of their population. We have about a 65% home ownership rate, and so out of that 65%, probably more than half would benefit from this program. Which includes Danielle, who's used to carrying the weight of the world. Like I've always had great examples of people that have taken care of their families, so I don't, I don't really know anything else. It's just, it was done for me. And now something's being done for you. Yes, and I'm like, wow, <laughs> this is truly amazing. I really want to like Holy Ghost shout. <laughs> like, I don't know, <laughs> trying to contain myself in this little seat. But now she gets some needed relief. Reporting in Maple Heights, Adina Busada, News 5. Installations could begin as soon as September 30th. Growth, Growth Ops says they will replace the roof if needed for free as well there. So to find out more about that program, go to news5cleveland.com.